Hello everyone, welcome to another Python tutorial series. And in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, matplotlib, and this is going to be tutorial number two, bar chart or a bar graph. So a bar chart is a chart or graph that presents categorical data with rectangular bars with heights or lengths uh, proportional to the values that they represent. The bars can be plotted vertically or horizontally, and a vertical bar chart is sometimes called a column chart. So a bar chart typically has two axes with one, axi one axis of the chart showing the specific category that's being compared and the other axis representing a measured value. So let's look at an example. So let's say Joey did a pet survey in his class and here's what he found. So uh, we want to use the bar chart to show the data. And actually this is a typical bar chart uh, data because it is categorical. So we have a list of pets, dog, cat, fish, hamster, and rabbit. And um, we have a list of a number of students, 11, 8, 5, 4, and 2. So 11 students have dogs as a pet, 8 students have cats as a pet, uh, 5 students have fish as a pet, 4 students have hamsters as a pet, and 2 students have a rabbit as a pet. So let's create a chart to just demonstrate or show this information. And in order to do this, we're going to be using matplotlib. So we want to import matplotlib.pyplot.pyplot as plt. As plt. And now um, when we import this matplotlib uh, submodule, which is pyplot, we rewrite it as plt. Now, plt becomes an alias of matplotlib.pyplot, and it's equivalent to it. Now, most of the matplotlib utilities lie under the pyplot submodule, so we're going to be using it a lot during this tutorial series. So now let's put data to our lists. So I'm going to have a list of pets, and this is going to be uh, containing all the pets that I mentioned before. So dog cat, fish, hamster, and rabbit. And I'm also going to have a list of students. And this is going to be the number of students that correspond with each uh, pet. So 11 students have a dog, 8 have a cat, 5 have a fish, 4 have a hamster, and 2 have a rabbit. And now we're going to create our plot and show it. Now, in order to create our plot, actually, I'm going to comment this, make a make the plot and show it on screen. Um, I'm going to write fig and a x is equal to plt dot subplots. And our container is equal to x dot bar pets. So our first um, list and students our second list and then plt.show so the plt.subplots creates a figure in a set of subplots it returns two parameters the fig and the x and the x can be either a single axis object or an array of axes object if more than one subplot was created the x.bar this makes the bar chart and it returns a bar container parameter with all the bars. So if I save and run what we have, now we see that we have our uh, bar chart here. And we have our dog, cat, fish, we have our pets at the bottom. And now we have uh, the amount as our um, y axes. And so we can also label the x and y axes and add a title to the chart to make it clearer. So in order to do this, right above where I write plt.show, I will do plt.xlabel to set the uh, x label, and I'll set it as pets because it is representing pets. As for my y label, this is going to be students, the amount of students that have each pet. And I'm going to set the title, so plt.title, pets, survey, in class. So I'll run this, and now you see at the top it says pet survey in class. That's the title, 
uh, down here it says pets, this is our X label, and as for our Y label it says students. You can also add numbers to the top of the bars, and here's how you can do it. You can oh, I'm gonna write plt.bar underscore label container, and I'm going to save and run this. And now you see I have my numbers right above each bar. And this makes it a lot clearer to see how many students have each pet. And so uh, when I write this, container is the returned parameter from the uh, axe bar command. And you saw that the default color of the bar chart was blue. And if you want to change the color, all you need to do is add a color parameter in the axe.bar command. So right here, after students, I'm going to add a new parameter, which is color is equal to red. And now you see that all of my bars have turned red. Now, what if you want to use different colors to show the bars so that each bar has its own color? Well, we can also do that. So I'm going to close this. All we need to do is put the colors we want in a list and assign it to the color parameter. So right below here, I'm going to create a list of colors. Colors is equal to red, green, blue, yellow, and cyan. Oops. And now, instead of just setting the parameter to red, I'm going to set this parameter equal to this colors list. Now run this. And now each color in this list corresponds to each bar. So the first one is red, second one is green, third is blue, fourth is yellow, and the last one is cyan. And sometimes you see the horizontal bar chart. So how do we do a horizontal bar chart? What I just did was a vertical. So how do we do a horizontal? Well, it's easy. All you need to do is change this axe.bar to axe.bar h. And so if I run this, now this is a horizontal bar chart. Since you have the x and y axes flipped, you also need to flip the x and y labels. So now here you notice that it still says pets, even though these numbers don't represent pets. And we need to change that. So I'll change this to y. I'll change this to x. And I'll close. And here you see that Students is now in the X label. If I make this a little bigger, pets is now the Y label. Right there. Okay, so I'm going to quickly change this back to vertical. I'll change this to X, this to Y. And if you want to add grid lines to the Y axis, we can also do that. And for this one, we just need to add the plt.grid function. So right underneath where I set the title, I'm just going to write plt.grid. The axis is equal to the y-axis. And also the line style is equal to, and then two dashes. So I'm going to save and run this. And you, here we see that I have added some grid lines to my graph which makes it easier to see the data. And the default line is a solid line, and I like to use dashed lines. So when I added this, close this line style is equal to dash dash, all I did was set the uh, line to, da to dashes. And so if I remove that parameter, now it is a solid line. Now, Sometimes you want to save your plot to an image file so that you can use it later. How do you do that? Well, we could use plt.savefig, and that's the savefig command, but you'll need to remove or comment out the plt.show uh, command line. Otherwise, you'll get a blank image. So if I want to save the image, I'm going to have to comment this out, and also write plt.savefig, and then the name of the image that you want to save. In this case, I'll just save it as my bar chart.png. And the saved image will be in the same folder with your code if you don't give it a specific folder path. 
or you can also specify the specific folder you want to save it in. Now, in this case, I'm not going to run this because I don't need the image, but uh, you can obviously save it wherever you'd like. Now, this is the end of this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.